보자 와루제도 환자래 이러니 그런 맞춰 이건 좀미라라니 그렇죠 Hey world, so this oh my god I love these lashes um this look is based on the character Blind Mag from Repo the Genetic Opera. Um, it's not exactly, by any means, exactly what she wears, so please don't think it is. Um, the inspiration from Blind Mag obviously came from the crazy, fluttery eyelashes. Um, we have a gig today at a shop called Devil Strip Dolly is in Akron um, at an event called Hollow Weird Fest. So it's an all gothic show today, so that's super exciting. Um, yeah, so we're allowed to go a little more insane with our makeup than we usually do, which is something I absolutely love because I don't often get to wear the crazy makeup things I do in public. So yay, I get to do that today. Um, so here's the look, uh, red and black, I hope you like it. I had to do the makeup to match our red and black costumes for today. Um, so yeah, uh, stay tuned, uh, subscribe, and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Thanks. Bye. All right, so the first thing you're going to do, as always, start off with your base. I'm using NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, Red Rust, and Black Bean. So go ahead, add the white up under your brow bone. Red rust is going to go in the center of your eye and underneath your eye, and then black bean is going to surround rust on both sides, and you're going to bring it across your crease. Next thing you're going to do is go ahead and blend all of that out, starting with the white, moving into the red, and then the black. I use my fingers for this, one finger per color. Next thing you're going to do is grab a red shadow. I'm using the BH 120 palette as per usual. Red goes in the center of the eye. Black is going to surround the red outer and inner corners and then up along the crease. You're just going to keep filling in that black. You want it nice and dark and matte. Very hollow red underneath the eye and then you're going to tightly come in with the black on your lash line so a little bit of the red is peeking out the bottom and then the black is across the lashes. The gray is going to come up across the crease and you're going to blend that black out just a little bit with the fleshy tone underneath the eyebrow. I'm using Carnivora by Tokidoki as per usual. Sort of ties it all in, sweeps it all together. Line your waterline with black and set it with a powder when you're done. And then come in with a black liner. This part's optional. Um, I just do it to get in all the little teeny tiny spaces between my lower lashes that the pencil did not reach. Go ahead and line your upper lashes. You want to keep this line thin. The band of your lashes are actually going to cover up this. So you just kind of want to make sure you've reached any part right where your lashes meet your eye that aren't colored. Filling your brow bone. Blind Mag has really nicely groomed eyebrows. She's all around very well put together. So you want to fill those in. Tame any unruly hairs that are going haywire, smooth it out, and then set it with a brow gel. Mascara for your lashes. I'm using Voluminous by L'Oreal. Here I've mixed a BB cream with a white face paint, just your generic white paint in the tube. You're going to want to kind of spread it around and let that sit for a minute and warm up on your skin. While it's warming up, I'm going to put the glue on the back of my bindi. I'm just using generic spirit gum I bought at Walmart a couple years ago. At Halloween, go ahead and blend in 
your foundation BB cream, whatever you're using. I find it best to blend with my fingers when I'm using the BB cream mixed with the white face paint. It just works better than trying to use a brush. And as you can see, I've left a spot clean and open for my bindi so it can stick to my skin, not the makeup. If you're wearing a bindi, pop one on. We're going to go ahead and contour our cheeks just a little bit. You don't want too much color. Blind Mag's very, very pale and washed out. and just a tinge of color to the cheeks using a fan brush. Both of my little palettes are from NYC Cosmetics. Line your lips using a red liner. Mine is from Hot Topic. And fill in just a little bit uh, right in the center of your lip. And for the lip color, we are using Black Dahlia. It is an Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tar. Fabulous product, nice and long-lasting. It does, however, have a tendency to feather, so you are probably going to want to use a base with it. And you're going to want to line your lips. Once you get the color even, go on in and add a little more of the color to the corners of your lips just to give them a little more depth. And last, go ahead and apply your false lashes. As you can see, I'm using a full band of the feathers and cutting them in half to create an upper and a bottom lash. They're actually really not that hard to put on. I find that the really huge, crazy lashes are the ones that are easiest to apply because you've got a lot of lash to grip onto and wiggle room to move that around on your lashes. And there we have it. So just for fun, here is the look without the crazy lashes. Since I know a lot of people don't like to wear lashes for whatever reason. I think it's still pretty without um, the nutty lashes. But uh, you can always add the base for your lash. Use a mascara base and then uh, your lashes will be a little more... Cool. To them. So there you go. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, thanks for watching, and I'm gonna go have fun at our gig. Bye.